Hello and welcome to short highlights of the classic Brugge de Pana, the men's world tour one day race in its sixth edition as a one day race, 47th edition in total because of course it used to be the three days of de Pana. What a selection of the world's best sprinters. Fabio Jakobsen, Dylan Groenewitten, Jasper Philipsen, Fernando Gaviria, Sam Bennett, Pascal Ackerman, Arno De Mar. The names just go on and on. What they had to contend was three finishing laps once they'd reached Depana itself of a 48 kilometer circuit. Very flat, very fast, and usually extremely wind affected when they crossed the Moors, De Mooren, the road which has seen so much action over the last five or six editions of this race and it was to be the same again this time round. An early breakaway of seven was hoovered up. The pressure then laid on by Alperson de Koenig thinking about mixing things up for Jasper Philipsen and that's exactly what happened. Happy to get involved as well once that breakaway as we see it being caught right now. Once it was caught happy to get involved as well. Sudar Quickstep also as you would expect in these kind of uh, medium heavy wins happy to lay down the watts and that's exactly what happened the breakaway was caught and as they entered the long straight coming back towards the panner itself along the moors themselves the watts were really laid down and the little gap started opening up one of the riders who was doing so much work jasper philipson here the belgian for alpacin de koenig in the blue i thought doing too much but it was distancing the likes of caleb ewan and so it was very effective others also climbing off early sam bennett unfortunately and uh, going through with one lap to go we had a very select greeting group about 17 18 riders a nasty crash as well for uh, Luca Mozzato and a long chase to try and get back in too he got back in but never near the front of the race again and there were punctures coming thick and fast too Bram Welton the next of those to suffer a puncture and find himself out of the leading group and in that second group Pascal Ackerman was doing a lot of work in the leading group, as was Yves Lampart as well, because Sudar Quickstep had four riders there in that leading group, including Fabio Jakobsen. Pascal Ackerman, having done a lot of work, the German dropped from that group. And then we saw a very select leading group of four going under the pressure of Jasper Philipsen, big pre-race favourite, the Belgian for Alpersen de Koenig. And he drove this group clear, bridging across to it as well, really impressively, Frederick Frisson. You can just see him in the back of the shot there, having ripped across that gap, pushing a monster gear and hooking back up with Yves Lampart and Olav Coy alongside Jasper Philipsen. Behind, understandably, Sudar Quickstep were a little bit unsure about what to do. Davide Ballerini started working on the front and all that pressure on the front was dripping riders off the back, including Arno de Mar there too. And it would be much the same for Dylan Groenewegen as this continued too. Davide Ballerini and his teammates doing whatever they could. Groenewegen going out of the back with de Mar, and they wouldn't quite get back on again after that point. We were watching this group, Jasper Philipsen, Olaf Coy, two very fast finishers, and what could Frisson do? Frisson opened up first, and then it was uh, Yves Lampart to try and go over the top of him. Yves Lampart led into the final sweeping bend, but Jasper Philipsen, absolutely unstoppable come the line, despite the fact that Olaf Coy gave him a right run for his money. Big pre-race favourite and richly deserved after all the work he had done during the race. Jasper Philipsen getting yet another win. And this was what remains of such an attritional race at the Brugge de Pana Classic. It really was a classic. Not quite the wins of 2020 when Yves Lampart was the winner on that occasion, but strong wins, lashing rain all day and tough attritional conditions. Jasper Philipsen with the win ahead of Olaf Coy Yves Lampart getting on the podium, thankfully for him and his team, and Fred Frisson in fourth place after that incredible bridge to that leading group as well. What a fantastic uh, result again for Philipson, proving his worth as one of the very best sprinters in the world, and Coy proving himself as one of the fast men up and coming after his Paris-Nice stage win too. I do hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed bringing it to you. Don't forget you can catch it all the way back on the GCN 